Welcome in, my name's Ryan, I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back, I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking a little bit about Zach Wilson and should the Jets make a quarterback change? Robert Sala was asked a question in yesterday's press conference about making a quarterback change. Then there was another conversation going on at the K-Show. All sorts of chaos ensuing. Jets fans are losing their minds. I want to provide a little bit of context from what I saw and some of the stats that back it up. So let's jump into the question that was asked initially. Should the Jets make a change at quarterback? No, because it'd be one thing if it was just him, right? It is the easy thing to do. He's the most, uh, him and the play caller are the two most visible things. So when things aren't good, it's easy to blame them, right? Um, it's, uh, it's easy to blame the people who are most visible to the camera. Uh, but it's important to keep the main thing the main thing, watch the tape, uh, look at the breakdowns, whether it was on the offensive line, at an execution standpoint, play call standpoint. Um, you know, there's there's a bunch of different reasons. And obviously, they also get paid, so uh, they did a lot of really good things too. But um, uh, if it was just him, it would be something to be, that, that would be worth discussing. But... This is a collective issue uh, that we all need to get on uh, get on the same page with. It's um, whether it's drop balls, players being where they're supposed to be, executing the way we need to execute, calling plays that need to be called, putting players in the positions they need to be put into. Um, that's all of us. And uh, and yes, he has a lot of things that he needs to improve on, and I know he he understands that, but. At the same time, this is collective. Football is the ultimate team game, and that's kind of what Robert Sal is getting at here. He's saying, hey, there's a lot of breakdowns that's going on on the offensive side. It could be the play caller. It could be the quarterback. Those are the two most visually uh, accessible people to blame. It's very easy for, for fans to kind of yell that way. But then you have to look at the offensive line. you got to look at the wide receivers. Are they getting open? Are the, uh, are the offensive linemen making their blocks? Are they holding their blocks? And we got to take a look at the offensive line pressures per true media this was the pressures and sacks given up by the offensive line this past week against the chargers billy turner nine pressures three sacks two quarterback hits tomlinson seven pressures two sacks one quarterback hit beckton five pressures one sack mitchell four pressures one sack tipman two pressures love you stud um <laughs> having a nice little game at center for your first game uh so look the offensive line clearly an issue now i do want to take a look at the time to throw because as of yesterday or I guess after the charger game Zach's time to throw is 2.71 seconds and then he's under pressure and he's holding the ball time to throw 3.37 seconds league average is 2.76 seconds so 0 0.05 of a second is how far Zach Wilson is off of the average for the NFL so as much as the offensive line like isn't doing everything they need to do I do view this as at least enough time to process and make something happen. Even if you're just throwing it into the dirt and not taking the sacks 20 yards back. Like that's one of the more frustrating parts of this whole thing. Now time to throw. There is something to be said for it being slightly skewed because quarterbacks that tend to run around a little bit more. Zach Wilson scrambling, running around behind the line of scrimmage. That extends the time to throw, which is why you get the 3.37 seconds for the under pressure portion, which means these pressures over here also could be impacted by Zach Wilson holding on to the ball, not throwing the football when he needs to throw it. For quarterbacks that get the ball out, and especially Zach, under two and a half seconds, he is significantly better when he gets the ball under that, gets the ball out in under that time. Now, 2.71 seconds, that's over the amount of time that he needs to throw. So there's a few things that could be happening here. It could be the offensive play calling. It could be wide receivers not getting open. It could be Zach not processing what he's seeing and he's not pulling the trigger he's a little gun shy so if you see wide receivers that are open in some of the game tapes then you're saying okay this is probably more of a zach issue now i want to drill down one little bit further and listen to a comment made on the michael k show yesterday robert sal asked if they would consider putting trevor simeon in at quarterback but things have changed over three years robert you've had different offensive coordinators before uh, the change to Hackett this year, and you've had different weapons around him, and the, the one constant is Zach, and the one constant is last year he couldn't start over over Mike White. So, I, I, uh, first of all, this this shouldn't be litigated. Now, I never understood with a, a 39 year old quarterback why a guy who couldn't start last year was the first line of defense if he went down. You've got Trevor Simeon uh, in your building. Why why not give him a try? No, I got you. No, it's uh, again the fair question, and uh, you know it's uh, like I said, he, he, I don't know. You got me. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna plead the fifth on all this one in terms of just uh, 
I've, I kind of explained it, you know, yeah. respectfully, obviously, but mm-hmm. but it's a va- they're valid questions. But and I know and I know from the, from a passionate fan, from from fans who are passionate, all having the same questions, I respect it greatly. Um, you know, but it's I, I've got to look at it from a global standpoint and uh, and just see where we are and uh, and look at the all twenty two the best I can and and make the decisions best as possible. So, oh man, did that audio clip just set off fans? <laughs> it was not good yesterday in terms of Robert Sala making that comment. I plead the fifth as to why you're not Trevor, starting Trevor Simeon. That is not what you want to hear. Now, there's a few ways to decipher that. There is the oh, it's coach speak. Our coach speak, and he's not, uh, you know, doesn't want to talk poorly about Trevor Simeon. Maybe Trevor Simeon stinks, and Zach Wilson is literally the best option that the Jets could have put out on the field. It could be that there's something nefarious going on above him. Maybe it's Joe Douglas. Maybe it's Woody Johnson pulling the strings. The, oh, I got to make sure what's, uh, you know, globally accepted or whatever he said in that, that comment. It feels like someone's pulling the little marionette strings because I can't understand, like, yeah, fans are frustrated that Zach Wilson is starting because we see what other teams are able to do and other quarterbacks. You see Josh Dobbs come in with no practice time, throws, uh, has two passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. You see uh, C.J. Stroud missing four of his five offensive linemen, goes for 470 yards and five touchdowns. So what is wrong with Zach? And then I want to bring up this stat that I have brought up once before. When Zach Wilson starts for quarterback for the New York Jets, for the last three years, he averages 194 yards per game. That is good enough to be, I think it's 28th. I forgot to put the numbers down there. I believe that's 28th. And when any other quarterback plays a game for the New York Jets and starts, the Jets are literally number one. <laughs> First, they are 24 yards, 23 yards above the Kansas City Chiefs on an average over the course of the last three years. Insane. <laughs> it's This is why we want to see Trevor Simeon. It's not because, like, you know, I, I – look – it's got to be Zach. Like, I, I understand the offensive line issues. I understand injury issues. I understand wide receivers potentially not getting open. But when literally every other quarterback with worse weapons, with worse offensive linemen, are having career days in a New York Jets uniform and across the league, but Zach Wilson can't figure out how to throw a fucking football to someone on our team, oh, <laughs> it just gets me all sorts of mad. I want to see Trevor Simeon at least be active, at least make him the number two heading into the Vegas game because at the worst case scenario, If Zach does poop the bed in the middle of this game, you can put in Trevor Simeon and say, hey, we just needed to reset Zach and then let Simeon stink. If Simeon is awful, you will get all Jet fans off their case and they'll be like, "Okay, look, Zach clearly is the best person to have go. And I'm not trying to say Trevor Simeon's trying to save our fucking season. But look, I want Aaron Rodgers to have a shot at coming back this year for the last game or two, possibly going on a little playoff run, have a little bit of capturing the success that I thought we were going to have at the beginning of the season. But if you are trotting Zach Wilson out there consistently, you are telling me you do not believe Aaron Rodgers is coming back because there is no way that Zach Wilson provides the best chance to win for the New York Jets right now. It is driving me up a wall. And especially when you consider we got kind of lucky in the Bills game. We got kind of lucky in the Giants game. We got kind of lucky in the Philly game. Like we are winning in spite of Zach Wilson. This is not him scoring points. This is not like... This team could very easily be one in seven right now. Like that's how critical this is. And we have a lot of really good players on this defense. This is championship caliber defense. You got to get it figured out. If Zach Wilson isn't the guy, you owe it to the other 52 people in that building on that team and the thousands and thousands of fans that pay a ton of money over the course of a season and sit down and waste their Sundays, putting effort and energy, everything into this team. You owe it to us to at least give us something. Give us some sort of entertainment. The NFL is supposed to be an entertainment industry, and this is not entertaining from a New York Jet fan perspective. So, guys, am I totally wrong? Based on my every throw video, you think everyone's making excuses left, right, and sideways for Zach? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I like Zach the person. I like Zach the backup, but I like Zach the third string backup just a little bit more right now because I'm a little frustrated, and I think we should be winning games I think we got some good players on this team that want to win, and I think it's going to start trickling into the locker room and coaches. It can't be just the fans that are feeling this way. So, boys and girls, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What was Aaron Rodgers, uh, not Aaron Rodgers, what was Robert Sal talking about? Is there someone pulling the strings? Is Woody Johnson, is Joe Douglas making this happen? Or is Zach Wilson actually the best player for this particular team right now? Does his legs provide enough mobility that you are actually succeeding in some degree to Zach Wilson? 
or with Zach Wilson compared to any other option out there that you could possibly have. Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, go Jets. Yeah!